Okay, guys, I'm going to wait. All right, I see some people on. Oh, guys, the countdown. Shalom. Shalom. Shaun Henderson. Shalom. Well, guys, the countdown begins. I think we're coming up on five hours before the ceremony. Five hours. Got to admit, I'm kind of nervous. But here is interesting, guys. Um, Yah is good. Yah is good. Now, normally, if it wasn't for the situation that I was in, this past two years, maybe even even more than two years, I, you know, I, I, I am a public person, but I am a private person. And the reason why um, I have allowed to put this on display for all of you to see is to encourage you. Uh, this is an encouragement to me, but to encourage all of Israel and to encourage just a uh, Men in general, especially in this country, we live in a country that, that beats up on men. And uh, we were created to rule and that it can be better. I mean, this country has been taken over by feminism, complete feminism. And um, it, may, it remind me of a story. Um, it remind me of a story of Esther in the book of Esther, how great or small men were I mean, depending on what that king was going to do, and I'm going to read today. I'm going to do some reading here, but depending on what that king did was going to determine what the women of that province were going to do. Either were they going to despise their husband or they were going to honor him. Uh, I titled this thing, My New Woman is a Triple B. Now, you can, I don't know how people take that. You know, you may think it's a bra size or whatever, but I think about how Yah has been so good to me. He gave me a triple B. He gave me a, a better woman, a black woman, and a beautiful woman. I got the triple B going on. So guys, I want to read something to you. And, um, and this is just to bring glory to the Most High, to tell you that his words are true. His words are true. If you guys get a chance who's new to my channel, new to my story. Go back and look at all my videos. My whole, my whole channel has been about my journey, has been about my journey. If you think about when I first started, it was almost it was April of 2018, I believe was the first time I put a video out. And it really was about my journey coming into the truth. But before I started doing YouTube, before I started doing YouTube, my wife of 16 years, my ex-wife now, but my wife of six, my ex-wife of 16 years, eight children, left me. July, July 9th, July 19th, 2017, left like this, like like this. Six months, six months. I told her, commanded her begged her, whatever you want to call, to come back home. Let's talk about this stuff. And why did she leave me? Not because I was whoring around, not because I was drinking, again, drunk, not because I was beating her or the children, not because I wasn't feeding her, not because she wasn't clothed. She literally left me because I wanted to keep the Shabbat holy. I wanted to leave, love Jesus. It's straight up, guys. I cannot make this thing up. Check out my video. But I put this thing out here, and you guys are going, if you guys are continue to follow my story, you're going to see a beautiful wedding of two people coming together. And this was done by the most high. I, I cannot, I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't write this up. This my, my life is made. For the movies. This is made, this is this is made for a movie. But let me read something here that Yah says. Okay. It says right here out of Luke chapter 18. Chapter 18. And I'm gonna start 
at verse 29. And uh, let me verse to 28. And this is Peter talking to Jesus. And this is after the rich young man uh, who asked Jesus, what, 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 what must I uh, do to inherit the kingdom of heaven? He says, you know, all, you know, keep the commandments. He says, I've done all these. And he says, well, there's one thing you lack. Sell all your things and come and follow me. And the guy walked away. Just thought, I mean, I understand. I understand to, the, 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 uh, to, to have to make a decision by giving up everything that you've worked hard for, that you labored for. And the guy walked. He walked away, his head down. Jesus let him, Jesus let him, Jesus let him keep on walking. And Peter, and, and then he started asking the question like, man, he says, it's says hard for a rich man to make it into the kingdom of heaven. And, and, Peter, and he says, man, who can be saved? He says, what's, what's, he says, the things that are impossible with man are possible with Yah. That is a true statement. But let me read. And Peter comes and says, then Peter says, lo, we have left all to follow thee. And he said unto them, verily, verily, I say unto you, there is no man that has left house or parents or brethren or wife or children for the kingdom of God's sake. Okay. Verse 30, who shall not receive a manifold more in this present time in the world to come life everlasting. So in the present world and the life to come. Guys, I had to give up a lot. Anyone that have known me in the past, I was, I mean, I was a faithful, dedicated husband, father, and my wife of 16 years, my ex-wife of 16 years left me. Guys, right before I came on to do this YouTube, did you know I just got an email from my ex-wife? <laughs> Would you figure? I got an email from her. You know she you know she emailed me? You think she emailed me to congratulate me? Say, hey, congratulations. I'm happy that you moved on. You know, I'm glad I'm glad that you you've been able to find love, things of that nature, family. She sent me an email and told me that my child support was past due. Literally, she said, just want to let you know your child support was past due. This is my ex-wife who I was married to for 16 years and had eight children, paying her $8,000 and $65 a month. Yeah, I cannot make this up. I just... Literally before, what delayed me even getting on the sooner than I wanted to was me checking out. I said, did I get an email from her? She sent me an email. And I sent it. I, I looked at it. I said, let me look at this because you know me. I'm a responsible. I looked, looked, looked up uh, my, my bank account on, my web, uh, um, on the website and it's, it's been cash. The money is cash. Now, I didn't even know if there was like literally a due date. I just thought you had to get it within a month. I may have been a day late getting it in the mail. Due to all the activities, but we'll see. Uh, she'll, I guess she'll send me to court on that one, but it's been cashed. It's been cashed. But anyway, so it's just once again, y'all say, I'm going to show you that I can do better than what the world can do. That's what I got from my ex-wife, a letter saying, hey, by the way, uh, you're past due on your child support. And if it's true, it's a day late. But guys, I tell you, it's, it's, it's amazing. But let me keep reading here. Let me not get off topic here. So guys, look at this. I'm going to read this story. and I'm going to take my time because I want you guys to understand because the reason why I'm putting my life, the uh, reason why I'm putting this way now is to encourage all men out there. Now, Real men, I'm really encouraging men of Israel, people who have eyes to, he eyes to see and ears to hear. That's who I'm really encouraging. But this is for everyone, for all of the providence of whoever's the KGB world, whatever you want to call it, whoever's been following, whoever may be going through some tough time dealing with these wicked ass women in this in this feminist society, this Roman Greco culture where families are being destroyed left and right. Listen to this story. Listen to the story because this story is my story. And the same way, this is, and this was a heathen. This was not a righteous man I'm about to read about. This was just a king mentioned and how he was, he understood that if, it, because of his status in his society, I guess I had a status in this society and people are looking. I know people are looking to see what is going to become of KGB. What is going to come of Kabir? 
What is going to come of it? I just talked to Ron Young the other day. And Ron Young says, it's clear that things are going good for you. It's clear. And I can't say there's anything wrong with you getting married because your wife did abandon you. But we're just watching just to see. You know, time would tell. That's what they're literally these are people that I that I gave money to, labor with, did good to, and they're literally sitting here and waiting for my fall, waiting for my destruction. Man, Yah is my shepherd. I should not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. My cup running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in a house. Man, I, guys, I'm telling you, the, 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 my enemies are looking. I'm asking y'all to prepare a table before me, before my enemies. Guys, I'm telling you, they are literally looking for my destruction. But it's all good. If y'all if if is with me, who can be against me? But let me read. And I'm not going to say all the names because I really want to stay focused on the story. It says, on the seventh day, this is for, for Easter, cha Esther chapter 1, verse 10. It says, on the seventh day, when the heart of the king was merry with wine, he commanded. And they mentioned some names. The seven chamberlains that served in the presence of uh, Asurius, the king, to bring Vashti, the queen, before the king with crown royal to show people the prince her beauty, for she was fair to look on. But the queen refused, I repeat, refused to come to the king's commandment by his chamberlains. Therefore, the king was very wroth and his anger burned in him. Then the king said to the wise men, which knew the times, for so was the king mannered towards all that knew the law, that knew the law and judgment, and the next unto him was. Okay, let me say, I literally, when my, my ex-wife left me on July 19th, and I hope I'm getting that date right, but I'm, I'm, when you think when you have good things coming, you kind of forget dates. But I believe it's July 19, 2017. She left me, right? She left. I told her for literally six months during that whole time before I even thought about going on YouTube to come back home, put it into this craziness, come back home. She went into hiding for 40 days at a pastor's house. I'm giving you a recap. As we, as we get to the countdown, my, my new beginning, I told her to come back and she stayed at a pastor's house, Matt Malik in Stevens Point, in the basement. I talked to the man on the phone and the whole time he knew where my family was. I drove all over Wisconsin. I went to Washington Island. That's where Fred Johnson comes in and calls the police on me and say that I was harassing him, threatened to kill his family because he uh, encouraged my ex-wife that uh, leaving is intervention. But I'm just trying to give you guys just a little brush here. Literally told her several times through text messages, when I find come home, she literally disobeyed me, refused. She listened to everybody but me. If that's not committing adultery, I don't know what is. But let me read, uh, and I'm gonna come back to this. It says, for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. And stubbornness is the iniquity and, and adultery because I have. So, guys, when you, a woman rebels against her husband, it is witchcraft. When she's being stubborn, it's iniquity, adultery. Men, you don't have to put up with this stuff. You can replace these rebellious, wicked ass women. Because I know that it's more than just Israel looking at this. There's so many people looking at my college days. Everyone is looking. There's so many men that I play football with in the on the pro level, on that known from my college days, high school days. I know you guys are watching. I know you're spying on my liberty. But let me tell you something. If you are with a wicked ass woman, you don't have to put up with it. Now, I was talking to Elder Rufus. He says, he says, it's not going to work for everybody. It's only going to work for those who are about the kingdom of Yah because this promise are for those who is doing it for, this, for the sake of the kingdom of God. It says it right here. It says, he says, anyone that, he says, it says right here in 29, it says right here, it says, it says, anyone that's left house, parents, brethren, wife, children for the kingdom of God's sake. So this is, that's key. I don't want you to think that, oh, you can do this stuff because I don't think you're going to find a woman out there who's going to obey you. I got me a triple B. She's better. Why she's better? Because she's obedient. 
submissive. She's black and she's beautiful. Yes, straight up. So guys, I'm telling you right now. So let me keep reading. So it says, and the next unto them, the seven prince of Persia media was, it says, I don't know who this guy is. If somebody is um, mantra, you gotta get this guy out of here. But anyway, look at people are manifesting right now. This says the seven prince of Persia and media, which saw the king face, right? Which saw the king's face, which sat the first in the kingdom. What shall we do unto Queen Vashtin? According to the law, because she had performed the com because she had not performed the commandments of the king Asarius by the chamberlains, and Mecum, Mecum, the name answered before the king and the prince and Vashtin the queen and had not done wrong to the king only. She didn't just do wrong to the king. What Eileen did to me was just wrong. She, first of all, she rejected Yah. She rejected Jesus Christ. But this is all the men out there. She's done wrong to everybody, and everybody's looking to see what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm about to get married. In five hours here, I'm about to get married and do better. Triple B. But let me keep reading. It says, um, you're not only king only, but also to all the prince and to all the people that are in the province of the king of Syria. For this deed that the queen shall come abroad unto all women, so that they shall despise their husband in their eyes. They said, hey, if we can, if, if Queen Vashti can disrespect her king, her husband, in front of all the prince, pff, other women can say, Man, we can do the same thing too. This is a big deal. KGB, Packer Hall of Famer. People envy me. Man, that guy, man, he's, he's rich, he's wealthy, he's healthy, his children are well behaved. Like, wow, man, all good. Yeah, we get to see him. He's falling. His wife, I knew it was too good to be true. Now I can feel good about myself. Okay, that's wicked. That's how wicked ass people think. But let me keep reading. Despise your husband in their eyes. And, 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 and these women are looking, look at, look what happened to Kabir. You better not leave my ass. You're not going to find nothing better. That's what my ex-wife told me. You know what she told me? She told me I would never, ever. She said, she said, hell will freeze over before I be able to have sex ever again. That's what she told me. She said, I should have been glad that, she, that, 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 what she told me when she drove off when I was on our anniversary. This was on our anniversary, our 17th anniversary. It would have been our 17th anniversary. She left. She literally drove off and says, You should have been happy that I allowed you to F me. And she said the word. I'm not going to put it on it because I want to get my thing de demonetized. She said, You should have been happy that I allowed you to F me. That, was, that is from a Christian woman. I can't, I can't make this thing up. Let me keep reading. But it, shall, it says, despise the husbands in their eyes when it shall be reported. And the king of Syria commanded Vashon the queen to be brought in before him. But she came not. Eileen, come home. That's what I said. Come home. She wouldn't come not. Likewise shall the ladies of Persia and Media say this day unto all the king princes that have heard the deed of the queen. Thus shall they arise too much contempt and wrath. If it pleases the king, let there go a royal commandment from him and let it be written among the laws of Persia and Media that it be not altered, that Vashon comes no more before the king of Syria and let the king give her royal estate unto another that is better. That's where the triple one of the triple beasts come from, better than she. I can honestly say my new woman, Sister Bree, is better. Better, black and beautiful, better. She has shown me more love, more honor, more reverence. You guys seen her in the video. Guys, I'm not, she can go back home. Not one single natural family is coming. The natural family tried to put all the works to get her not to come to, not to come to Green Bay. Not to be married to me, to just some some cult. He got this. He 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 doesn't want to get a marriage license. He, he he's thinking about having more wives. She still can. She left everything behind, just like I had to leave everything behind to follow my master. She did that for me. Better. She's young, beautiful, and my my ex wife is old, in her in her mid forties. You think she's gonna have any more children? If she does, not mine. So look, it says, give her state to another. Better. 
My, my woman has not been in this bedroom. I'm, I'm speaking out here out of praise land, the master bedroom. She has not been in here. And today she comes into the, to the master's chamberlain. She comes into the master's chamber and we're going to, we're going to take care of business. And this was the same place that, that, that my ex-wife also stayed. And now I'm going to give it to someone better, better guys. I can't make this thing up. Look at this. And when the king decree, which he shall make, it, it, listen, now this is why I do what I'm doing. This is why I'm getting up early this morning and putting this all out there. I haven't even, look, I haven't even brushed my teeth. I just woke up, prayed, and said, I'm going to tell you guys, I'm going to get on here and whoever wants to listen, listen. And it says this, and when the king decree, which he shall make, shall be published. I'm publishing this on YouTube. That's the format I'm using. Published throughout all his empire, for, for it is great. All wives, this is it right here, guys. All wives will give to their husband honor, both great and small. And saying, please, if it pleases the king and the princes, and the king did according to the word of Mechukan, and he sent letters into all the king's provinces, to every province according, and to writing thereof, and to every people after their language, that every man, listen, men, men of Israel, listen that every man shall bear rule in their own house and that it should be published according to their language of every people. Guys, I'm telling you right now, this is like, if you would have saw my videos two years ago, man, it, man I, I was in a dark place. Those six months you don't even see, I came out of a dark place. I, I, have, I have Yah to thank for that, for getting me out. I have Yah to thank. He brought Pastor Dow, Straightway Truth family. This is a true family. Guys, even not only with the woman is better, I have a better, I'm part of a, I have a better pastor off the chain. I don't think there's a better pastor out there that I know of who truly loves his sheep, who's not about fleecing people, but truly is about taking care of the sheep. Pastor Dow, most pastor would have been intimidated maybe because of what I did, how much money I have, said, well, I can't help you because you got all this money. Not Pastor Dow. Pastor Dow met me where I, went, where I needed. He was able to meet me. You would think like, okay, you know, one thing about straightway, they all about meeting people where they're at and helping them to become better. And Pastor Dow was able to meet me where I at. And what I needed at that time was uh, just a, a, a person to, to, to love me, to take time, to take my calls, help me as I was grieving. Because no one, I had people around here that I knew 12 miles, literally within 10 minutes, did not come. And if they did come, they didn't come to help me. From, from a righteous perspective, they came to try to get me to acquiesce and capitulate to a wicked woman's demand. Literally, the, the ones that came was trying to get me. So I thank God for pastor. Uh, there was another guy here locally, Pastor Ray. I do want to mention that because it was true. And there's some other people here. But Pastor Dow by far has not only was, was helped me from a distance, but now I'm part of a better family. They all came out here. And let me tell you something, guys. I just did a video the other day talking about natural family. Man, we only invited people at Straightway KC and people at Praise Land. We, I, I, I'm telling you, if I would have invited everybody from Straightway, I, 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 we just wouldn't be able. It would be, it would be, I, I have to go, for budget reasons, I would have to go get a bigger place. And I, damn it, I, I really believe people will literally come out here and support me and Bree in this wedding. I know there's people out there, you guys on here, you guys couldn't, you couldn't be here because I didn't invite you. Not because I didn't let, it's just like, I, I know. Now, this Christianity, pff, just throw it out there and see who comes. But straightway, whoo-wee, people will be there by droves. I, that, this is not like, well, uh. But natural family, yeah, you, you throw it out there, you're lucky if you get one. Bree, Bree threw out her, she threw out her net for her natural family. Zero came, zero. I didn't even try to throw one out for my natural family. Didn't even try. So guys, let me read here. God is not an author of confusion, but you're, if you have a woman and she's not obeying you, she doesn't love you. If you come into, if you have just woken up to the truth, leave her. Don't let your woman, your children, your friends, your brother, your, 
your, your father, your, your brother, your sister, don't let them keep you from this truth. It can be better. I testify today that what Jesus says, that if you leave house, you leave parents, you leave brother, sister, wife, children, that you will have a better manifold in this lifetime and the next. I, 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 I'm telling you, it is true. Anybody that's seen my story, you will see it for yourself. I have me a woman. And this was put together by the church. Matter of fact, this morning, I don't even know what time. It's about seven. What is it? It's, got, it's probably about eight o'clock. Before we even do the ceremony, Pastor Dow has put together six pages of a, a, of a contract a, 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 a based on the word. Can you believe that? Based on the word. I, and there's a special name for it. And we got elders that will sign off on this stuff. Guys, I can't make this thing up. This is serious business. You don't need to go to this wicked ass system. This wicked ass system won't do shit for you. They won't. But I know I'm part of a, I know I'm building my house on solid ground. Solid. It was hard. It was hard. When I got married to Eileen, it was booty, by the boom, by the bing, boom. Let's do this. We went to the church, boom. Man, not, not much to it. You say these nice little words, boom, boom, boom. And it, it, as fast as it was able to be put together, it got destroyed like this. This one took time. Took time. I know it took me two years. For Bree, it took her four years. Four years. <laughs> so, guys, I'm telling you, man, and she has a story. I can't wait until she tells her story. That, guys, I'm just telling you just the tip of the iceberg of the story of my side. She has a freaking amazing story that we know that Yah has put this together. When, you, when the Bible said, what Yah has put together, let no man put asunder. Yah has put this together. And I'm just telling you my story. But I will tell you this much. Bree had a dream that a former football player would marry her. And, and, and here's the crazy part. You said, well, she picked you. Bro, first of all, she wasn't trying to get with any man outside of straight weight. And when she had that dream, I didn't even show up on the scene. She had that a month before I came on the scene. A month before. And even the way it was going to be. But I've seen the evidence when it was dated. May, May of 2017. I didn't come into straightway until July. And she had that dream. Didn't tell anybody. And the way, I'm, and, and guys, one, I will tell you that story once you know so but guys i'm telling you that thing is off the chain and when and she didn't even tell me but it was it was a wrap as soon as she knew pff, like wow it was just it was just surreal so yah put this together straight up straight up in every way she has a story you guys just hear my story her story is just off the chain so guys I'm just letting you, you don't, need, you don't need to put up with this stuff. You got these women out there that think that because they're good looking, that, and I got me a humble woman, and she's beautiful, but she's humble and beautiful and black and better. Look what it says, pride goeth before the destruction and a haughty spirit before the fall. Better is it to be, it better is to be in a humble spirit with, a low, with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. I'm dividing the spo spoil with the proud. Well, it's my stuff. Guys, I'm telling you, it is, you don't have to put up with these women. If a woman will not submit to you and reverence you like she would Christ Jesus, walk away is not worth it. It can be better. It literally can be better. I know people who are in this ministry for two years, and at the end of the day, they stop the fight and they quit shy because they didn't want to let go of their past. When Jesus says, if you, he says, if you save your life, you will lose it. And if you lose your life, for my name's sake, you will save it. Guys, I saved my life. And I'm looking forward to spending time the rest of my natural life with Bree as I, as I continue to build the house of Kabir. So guys, you guys are going to be seeing the wedding. I'm putting this out here as an encouragement to all of you guys. If This is just not my story. It's not even about me. It's not even about me and Bree. It's about Yah. It's really, truly about Yah that he is faithful to his words. Even when we are unfaithful, he is faithful. Guys, this book is real. This book is real. You can't make this thing up. You got, we got hundreds of people here. Drove, Kansas, all over. I was just talking to Brother Daniel, Brother Robert, Matthew, both played in the NFL. 
They used to, we had to pay people to come and watch us play. We had to pay for tickets. We had to pay for people to come and see us play. And as soon as our career was over, they stopped coming. I said, we're, we're still here. I got the house. Come. I mean, there's nothing to come out. You're not current. You're a has-been. It's like, and now I'm, 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 I'm a has-been. But I got people coming from all over, pastors, elders, deacons, brothers, sisters, nephews, niece, all up to coming. And I know that if we would have invited more people in the faith, they would have been here. Some couldn't even make it. I genuinely couldn't make it. Wanted to make it. Try to make it. Genuinely, you know. So even the ones that couldn't make it, you know that if they could, they would. If they, it had to be a very good reason. Guys, I'm telling you, man. This truth, I'm not leaving it. I, I, when I talked to Ron Young, I said, Ron, let me ask you something. Let's just think about this stuff. I was the height. I was the highest at level at Christianity. The height. And I probably, pe people probably cater to me. All these, I experienced something, right? Something. And all of a sudden, it just gone. Now, people say, well, it's the same thing with, no, guys, you have to be a righteous man. Who is it? Hey, Sister Carrie Hold on, guys. Hold on. Let me get my breakfast here. All right, see, look at <laughs> Better. I can't make this thing up. Look at breakfast. Uh, guys, I'm telling you, this is off the chain. Hold on here. Anyway, guys, I just want to tell you something. I was, I was talking to Ron Young. And, and I, I, I mean, man, we labored when Christianity. I labored doing Christianity. And he's looking at me and saying, I said, yeah, when Eileen left, man, she had the support of the community, Christian. She had support from all, not just Christians. She had support from, from Catholics, from gays, from, from feminine. I mean, she had it from all across. She even got the support of the wicked ass court system. Unbelievers, the secular republic. She got support from all over. From people that don't even read this. She got support from people that don't even read this book. And most of my 99.9% .9 that supports me are commandment keepers. Commandment keepers. And I've I talked to some people. So I'll say 98% because there's people that says, Kabir, I don't believe what you believe, man, but I support you because I know you a good brother. I know you are a good man. People that I play ball with. So I want to acknowledge that. But 99% and even the guys that's the 2%, they're, they're, they're just decent people. Decent. They don't have the truth. Maybe they're coming into the truth, but they're looking at the story to see. I'm talking to my brother. He said, people are looking, Kabir. People are looking to see where this is going to go. He said, there's people from, you got MGTOW. You got all these people talking about how, guys, the Bible tells you how wicked a woman can be. Don't trust a woman. Even my new woman, I love her. I'm going to take care of her, but I'm not going to ever give my strength away. Don't you ever give your strength over to a woman. Don't do it. It's like giving a loaded gun to a, to a two-year-old, to a one-year-old. You don't do that stuff. They can't handle that. You were called to rule. We were called to rule, not them. They were created for us. We weren't created for them. We were called to rule over them. They're to be our help me. Their desires unto us. And now that I understand the standard of what to look for in a woman, that would never, ever happen again. I was a simp. And now I'm a true man. A true man. So, guys, I hope this is encouragement to you guys. When you guys are all watching this stuff, you watch. And, and, and guys, this wedding is going to be totally different, man. It's going to be different. It's not going to be your typical thing. You will see. This time, instead of uh, the man waiting on the bride, mm-mm. It's not going to be like that. This time, the bride will be waiting on the bridegroom. It's going to be different. It's going to be different. And, and I've never seen anything like this. We're just inventing it as we go. We're just making it up as we go. And trying to do and try to re, re try to reestablish the old the old ways, the old pathways. We're going to do this as biblically as we can. And I hope that just like I got to remind this this guy named um, 
And he's no, a brother, dear brother with us. He's no longer with us anymore. Uh, Regis and his wife, Rachel, and um, not Steve. Um, um, I can't think of his, I can't think of his first name because I, I always call him by his last name. But anyway, um, and maybe you guys can remember, but uh, the Regis family, when they got married, I remember, I remember watching, I remember watching that wedding and I was in my shower crying. I watched it five times. Dominique, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm getting passionate. Dominic uh, Regis, who's no longer with us now, he's he's home to be with the king. I know he's there. That man is a believer. But Dominic, brother Dominic and his wife uh, um, Rachel. But anyway, they I watched that wedding. I think they got married in 2017. If it was no, if it wasn't 2017, it had to be in 2018. And I remember watching. I watched it. I listened to even the soundtrack, the music, and I cried, man. I cried, thinking to myself like, wow. Wow, man, maybe one day, man, I was thinking just, I was going to get back with my old, my ex-wife. Maybe, maybe it can work out, maybe, maybe, and it didn't work out. And now I'm going to have my moment. I hope that what their marriage did for me, I can do for you guys. And that's what you guys do. That's why this is happening. Because guys, I, I, my first wedding with my ex-wife, I didn't do anything this big. This is the biggest, guys, this is my first wedding. I know it seems like, come here, what do you mean this is your first wedding? This is my, I've never did anything like this before. I didn't even think back then that people really cared. So I just wanted to kind of keep it simple and private, boom, boom, boom. But I'm doing this for all of Israel because I understand this is bigger than me. This is not about me. This is not about Bree. This is about Yah and his children. I mean, this is it, guys. And so let's start reestablishing the old ways, going to the old path. And um, so I'm looking forward to this stuff. Um, I probably got more long-winded, but I appreciate you guys. Uh, continue praying, but as we continue the countdown, we are five hours. We are about five hours uh, coming into this stuff, and um, I will be married. Pastor Dow will be officiating uh, because Bree doesn't have a natural family here. Her pastor, Pastor Corey Phillips, he will be uh, handing her off to me, and we're going to do this biblical. So, guys, be encouraged. Don't put up with it. It can't be better. It's hard. I'm not going to lie. It's like going through the valley of the shadow of death, but I will fear no evil for your rod and your staff. They comfort me, guys. You just got to have faith. Endure to the end. Endure to the end. It was hard, but it was worth it. Just like in football, man, all the, all the sacrifice I did when I played football and the training camps, times I thought about quitting and thoughts that went through my head and I just pushed through. And when I look back, it was worth it. But guess what? It was for it was for a reward that 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 perish. And I took that same mentality and brought it to my spiritual my walk with the most high Yeshua HaMashiach and brought it to that. And I can tell you, man, this is for a reward that will last forever, forever. So, guys, be encouraged. Be encouraged. You don't have to do this. Look at me. If, and guys, I'm a, I'm a nobody. I know you think I'm a somebody, but I was a nobody. He, he, he really does use the weak things of the world to shame the strong. He really does use the foolish things, the way, foolish things of the world to shame the wise, to nullify everything that he is the most high. So be encouraged. I'll see you guys in five hours. Maybe I'll see you before that if something comes up. Uh, maybe I'll show you just little things as, it, as we lead up to the stuff. It's going to be all it's going to be all on YouTube, Facebook. Go to my Facebook page, KGB 94 TV. Look it up. Guys, be encouraged. If some of you guys are new to the store, you're probably coming in. Go look. You're going to see me. I was skinny. I was, I was fighting the good fight. I'm trying to, my, my facial hair wasn't even all coming in. And now I'm here. I'm here, guys, man. I'm telling you. And I can't wait to the day I can tell you about Bree's story because it's off the chain. If it's, when, if, 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 it, if it's the Oz will, then I can share that. But, guys, I'm telling you, for women, you guys think it's, it is about the men. But women too, men, don't be treating these women wrong. I'm telling you, your prayers won't be answered. Things can happen. And there's stories that Abigail, y'all took away her husband, gave her something better. And I can tell you, Bree will tell you she got something better, better, black. I don't know, maybe you can't, I don't know if I'm beautiful, but I'm good looking. That's what she tells me. Anyway, guys, hey, uh, I love you. Um, be encouraged. 
Continue to fight and remember, guys, remember what I always say. And this is a true saying I used to tell my children all the time. I used to tell my ex-wife all the time. And I can honestly testify it's a true statement. Remember to be faithful in the little things. Remember what you do with anything. What you do with anything is what you do with everything. So be faithful in the little things. Shalom, shalom. And I'll see you later. Shalom.